Hi there, welcome to Library Yoga. My name is Chelsea and I'm both a librarian and a yoga instructor here at Brock. Today we're going to take an unconventional study break to hopefully loosen up a few of the muscles and areas that tend to get a little tight when we're hunching over at our desks, at our computers, uh, especially when we're working on our final papers and preparing for our final exams. So we're going to get started today in a comfortable seat. You can see I'm just sitting in a chair in my office here. You're welcome to do the same. If you are practicing maybe at home or in a dorm room, you're welcome to sit on a bed, a piece of furniture, even the floor, um, if you're practicing perhaps with a yoga mat today. So whatever feels best to you. And we'll find a position where we can sit up nice and tall. We want to take our shoulders back, lengthen out through the spine and up through the crown of the head. And if it would feel good to you, you can always close your eyes or soften your gaze. There's no need to watch the screen for the next few moments. And we'll start just by tuning in to how our bodies feel as they settle into this posture. Maybe move through the body one part at a time, starting down at the feet. Moving up through the legs, noticing if there are any areas of tension, tightness, gripping. Work the way up through the hips and the back. Notice if there are any aches and pains. If there are any small movements you can make to get a little more comfortable, please go ahead. Bringing the attention across the shoulders, maybe seeing if we can soften them down a little more through the arms. And then bringing the attention all the way up through the back of the neck, the jaw, and the face, all the way up to the top of the head. Noticing how your body is feeling without any judgment, just noticing. And then from your body, gradually bringing your attention to your breath. Noticing how your breath feels in your body. Perhaps where you're feeling it the most, maybe down in the belly, Maybe the chest, feeling the movement of your clothing against your skin as you inhale and exhale. Maybe feeling the breath moving in and out through the nose. And noticing the quality of the breath. If it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow, and again, there's no need to change it. We're just observing. There's no judgment. Just really tuning into how we are right in this moment. These are things we tend to overlook when we're really in the zone with our work and our studies. And you may notice as we sit here that the mind starts to wander a little, and this is totally normal. Just observe where the mind wanders off to, if there are any strong feelings attached. And with that gained insight into your current state of being, gently bring your focus back to the body and the breath. And we'll start to move into our practice with that heightened awareness. We'll start with a nice big inhale by rolling the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale, we can blink the eyes open as we drop the shoulders down. We'll take a couple more shoulder rolls like this, consciously inhaling on the way up and exhaling on the way down, starting to move in sync with the breath, we'll go ahead and switch directions. Take one more shoulder roll and 
then we'll release the shoulders down. We'll now do an exercise I like to call the squeeze. And this is a great exercise to relieve tension very, very quickly. So if you find you're getting really tense, really tight, you're very stressed out in the moment, this can be a great quick exercise to do to alleviate some of that tension. As we take a deep breath in, we're gonna squeeze the shoulders up to the ears, tense up the muscles in the arms and the hands. You can make fists. Squeeze the muscles in your abdomen and your legs. You can even scrunch up your face. And with an exhale, big sigh, we let it all go. <sighs> let it all soften down. We're gonna do two more like that. Inhale, we squeeze everything in, tense all the muscles, get them all really, really active. And exhale. <sighs> Drop them, let it all go. One more time, inhale, squeeze it all in. You can even engage your feet here. And exhale, let it go. We can bring the hands back to the lap or wherever they feel most comfortable. And we'll start by drawing some half circles with the head. So we'll drop the head towards one shoulder, it doesn't matter which. And then gently drop the chin down towards center and over to the other side. And we'll start this nice and slow, rocking the head from one side to the other, becoming aware of any tight spots that we might be feeling, any spots that kind of stick along the way. And there's no need to force the movement here. We're not trying to like squeeze our head towards our shoulders, just really allowing the natural weight of the head to encourage a bit of a stretch through the neck. And now the next time we come to the right side, we'll pause, bring that right ear towards the right shoulder. And if you'd like a little more sensation, you can use your right hand and drape it gently over the side of your head by your ear. And we're not pulling, really. We don't want to put that much strain on the neck. It's just a little added weight to get a little deeper into those muscles. And you're welcome to stay here, but if you'd like more sensation again, you can start to extend your left arm out, nice and long away from you. And as soon as I straighten into that arm, I really start to feel that stretch down into my shoulder, even my forearm. So move into a shape that feels best to you today. This can be very, very intense. So you're welcome still just to have your head tilting to one side. Wherever you are, we'll take one more deep breath in and exhale, we'll release the hands and then gently bring the head back up, pausing for a moment at center, maybe noticing a difference in one side of the neck compared to the other. And then we'll go ahead and drop the head over to the left side. And notice it may feel different from one side to the other. I definitely feel this side way more. <laughs> if you'd like a little more sensation, you're welcome to take your left hand this time and gently rest it on the side of your head, just above your ear, giving a little more weight, a little more traction to the stretch. And again, moving within a range that feels comfortable to you. If you'd like a little more sensation, you can reach your arm up to the side. Ooh, I feel this so much. Continue to breathe regardless of the sensation. We might be feeling a lot of effort in our body, but we can bring that ease with our breath. We'll take one more inhale. And exhale, release the hands and slowly bring the head back up. Very nice. We'll start now to drop the chin down towards the chest, staying nice and lifted through the torso so we're not rounding here. And then inhaling, we take the gaze up towards the ceiling, lifting the chin. So it's almost like you're leading with the bottom, uh, the bottom part of your jaw, your chin up towards the ceiling. We'll go ahead and exhale, drop the chin. And inhale, we lift the chin. We'll do one more like that, exhaling on the way down. Inhaling on the way up. 
And now as we exhale, we'll tuck the chin one more time. And you're welcome to stay here, or again, if you'd like to add a little more sensation, you can bring your hands gently to the back of your head and just let them softly rest on the back of the head to bring the chin closer to the chest. And we're not pulling, we're not really, really active here. This is just a very subtle addition of weight to get a little deeper into those muscles in the back of the neck. And at any point, if you take one of these options for more sensation, you can always back off. You can release if it feels too much. We'll take one more breath here. And as we inhale, we lift the head, keeping the hands interlaced behind the head. We'll start by sitting upright, the chin level to the floor. And we're simply going to press the back of the head into the hands as we press the hands into the head. So the head isn't moving anywhere. It's not moving backwards. We're not looking up. We're not looking down. We're just simply creating a bit of traction, pressing the head into the hands and the hands into the head. We're engaging those muscles in the back of the neck and often engaging some muscles in the way that we did with our squeeze earlier can really encourage them to relax and maybe let go of some of the tension we're feeling. Take one more inhale and then exhale. We release the pressure and gently release the hands and just take a moment to notice how your head, neck and shoulders are feeling. Often when I do that exercise, it feels like my head is screwed on a little bit better than it was before. I find that exercise in particular can really offset some of the strain we feel from looking down at our books, at our phones, um, even our laptops if we don't have them ergonomically set up. From here, we'll reach the arms out nice and wide, bringing them all the way up towards the ceiling, interlacing the hands. We lift up out of the waist, reaching up really, really tall, and exhale, we release the hands and we bring them to the back of the head one more time. From here, we're gonna come into a seated variation of cat cow. With an inhale, we spread the elbows wide as we lift the chest and maybe lift the gaze. And exhale, we round backwards, bring the elbows towards each other as we curl into our cat variation. Inhaling, we open it up, and exhaling, we round it in. We'll take one more of these, inhaling, opening up, getting that movement through the spine, and exhaling, rounding it back. We'll lift it back up and reach the arms out to the sides, nice and wide. Take a deep breath in here, and as we exhale, we're gonna to twist towards the right, using only the torso to twist us. So we're not using our hands to press ourselves in any particular shape. Leading with the heart, twisting to the right. When you can't twist any farther, we'll go ahead and release the hands, bringing the right hand to the back of your seat or maybe the floor, and then bringing that left hand to the outside of the right knee. We can take a moment here, check in with our posture. We want to be sitting up nice and tall, leading with the heart, not using the hands too much to press us into this shape. And then we can take the gaze back, maybe back towards that right shoulder or as far as feels good to you. Continue to breathe in this shape. We'll take one more deep breath in. And as we exhale, we'll hold this twist, but turn our heads towards the front so we can bow our chin down towards that left shoulder. And you'll start to feel a stretch in the back right side of your neck. I even feel this in behind my right shoulder blade. This can be a very tricky spot to stretch. This is one of my favorite ways of doing it. We'll take one more inhale. And exhaling, we'll unwind, come back to center. Pause for a moment, notice how you feel. And with another deep breath in, we'll open the arms out wide one more time. 
and exhale, twist towards the left this time. Again, really twisting from the core, twisting, leading with the chest. And when you can't twist any farther, we'll go ahead and drop the hands down, bringing the left hand either to the back of your seat or the floor, and bringing the right hand across the body over towards that left knee. Check in with the posture. As we inhale, we sit up tall, and as we exhale, we think about twisting, leading with the heart, maybe taking the gaze back towards that left shoulder. And now you might be sitting there watching this thinking, wow, I really can't turn my head that far. And that's totally normal. The goal here is to really find the twisting sensation. And that will look a little different for different people. It'll look different in different bodies. Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, we'll hold this twist, but take the gaze to the front and gently bow the chin down towards that right shoulder. Feeling that stretch in the back left side of the neck, maybe even down behind that shoulder blade. Taking one more deep breath in and exhaling, we'll unwind and come back to center. Awesome. From here, we're going to start to make our way down into the legs a little bit. So I encourage you, you can do the next poses, either seated from a chair or standing, and I'll show you both variations. So we're going to start by simply pulling that right knee in towards the chest. So if you're seated in a chair, you want to be sitting up nice and tall, hold on to that knee. If you're standing, you can always have a piece of furniture next to you for support and gently guide that knee up towards your chest. And you can roll your ankle a little bit here, one way and the other, getting some energy down through the calves, into the foot. And if you have the luxury, like me, I've kicked my shoes off for this practice today. Often can feel quite nice to be practicing without shoes. All right, from here, now this will be challenging, especially for those of you standing today. We're going to hold on to the bottom of our thigh and start to straighten that leg away from us. This is very demanding on the muscles. There's no need for you to have your leg as high as mine. You can always just even lower your leg a little bit. This can be a nice stretch if you're seated in a chair into the hamstring and the calf. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, we'll go ahead and lower that down. You can shake it out a little bit. And we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. We'll start by picking that left knee up, squeezing it in towards the chest. And this might depend on the clothing you're wearing today too. I'm wearing jeans today in my office and that doesn't really allow me to get my knee quite as close to my chest as I might be able to otherwise. So work within your clothing limitations and how your body feels today too, that can really change from day to day. You can roll your ankle one way and the other, inviting some energy down into the legs. And then holding on to the back of the thigh, we can experiment with lengthening our leg away from us, feeling, oh my gosh, that stretch through the hamstring, maybe through the calf, engaging the quads. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. We slowly, gently release. We can shake it out. And if you're standing, we're going to make our way into our chair pose. And for those of you who might be seated, especially if you're coming from a chair, you can just gently, shifting your weight into your feet, lift yourself up to hover out of your seat. So from standing, you want your feet either together or hip distance apart, whatever feels best to you. And we're going to bend the knees like we're sitting back in a chair. If you start to feel this in your lower back, think about tucking your tailbone slightly under instead of sticking your bones straight out. That tends to help a fair bit. From here, we can reach the arms forwards at shoulder height if that feels good. And we're just going to wake up the legs and the feet a little bit more. And this is optional, so this might feel like enough right now. But you can experiment with rising onto your toes and then lowering your heels back down. Onto the toes and lowering back down. 
We'll do a few more of these. We'll go for five, lower, four, lower, three, lower, two, lower, one, lower, and come all the way up to standing. I know that can be really tricky, and I think it can give you some good insight into your sense of balance today, too. That tends to change on a daily basis as well. From here, we'll come into a nice mountain pose, standing up nice and tall, shoulders back. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. With an inhale, we reach all the way up towards the sky and exhale. We fold forwards. You can keep the knees as bent as you would like here, allowing the back to soften and round. We'll hold on to opposite elbows, taking a nice rag doll stretch, just allowing gravity to do the work. Maybe swaying a little gently from one side to the other, allowing the muscles in the back and the neck and the shoulders to totally relax and let go. Coming back to center, we'll release the hands. With an inhale, bring the hands to the shins or to the thighs so we can lengthen the body halfway. So our upper body is parallel to the floor here. We'll take a nice deep breath in, engaging those muscles in the back. And exhale, we fold one more time. From here, we'll go ahead and bend that left knee, keeping the right leg straight. Keeping the fingertips on the floor or maybe bringing the hands up a little higher if that feels comfortable. With the right leg straight, we're gonna open the right arm up towards the sky. So you'll feel a good stretch through that right leg, maybe through the hip and the back. Take a deep breath in and exhale, we'll switch. Bring that right hand down, we bend that right knee, straightening the left and open that left arm up towards the sky. We'll take a deep breath in and exhale, slowly release and we'll roll our way up. One vertebra at a time, all the way up to standing. Nice. From here, we'll take a nice deep breath in, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. And exhale, we'll catch a hold of the left wrist and arc over towards the right for a nice side body stretch. If you'd like a little more sensation here, you can step your left toes behind you so that you can get a little bit deeper into the waist and the outside of the hip. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we come up and we switch. Inhale, grab a hold of the right wrist. And exhale, arc towards the left. And again, if you'd like a little more, you can step that right foot behind you. Arcing over, feeling that stretch through the waist. Deep breath in. Exhale, come on up and release the arms down. Great, we have one more standing posture that we're going to do today. And this is tree pose with an optional side bend variation. So we'll start by shifting the weight into our right foot. And you can bring your left foot either to your ankle, your calf, or if your clothes and your body allows today, you can bring the sole of your left foot to your inner right thigh. The only place we don't want the foot is on the knee because we don't want to press the knee sideways. It's not really meant to go that way. When you feel steady, of course, you can have a piece of furniture around to support you here. You can bring your hands to center and maybe extend the arms up towards the sky. If you would like to experiment with this side bend variation, there are two options for you. The first, if your leg is up on your thigh, if your foot's up on your thigh, maybe you can grab a hold of that leg and reach the right arm over and arc towards the left, towards the bent knee. If this doesn't feel feasible to you or perhaps your leg is a little lower, you can take your left hand to your left thigh, reaching the right arm up, 
You can then arc to the side using your left hand as an extra support. Wherever you are, we'll take one more deep breath in and exhale, come on out, release. And we'll do that on the other side. So we'll shift the weight to the left foot, bring the sole of the right foot to the ankle, the calf, maybe the thigh. Take a moment to find your balance, find a spot in front of you that's not moving, it'll really assist you. And then the option is yours. You can reach your arms straight up towards the sky, or maybe you wanna take this side bend variation, either holding on to your right ankle or gently resting your right hand on your right thigh, bringing the left arm up and over for a nice side body stretch and a good test of your balance. We'll take one more deep breath in and exhale, come on out, maybe shake it out a little bit, and then we'll make our way back towards seated. So this can be in a chair or on the floor, totally up to you. We're just gonna get one more good stretch of the hips in there. So I'll show you two variations, one for a chair, one for the floor. We're gonna be doing a figure four stretch. So starting with the right foot, we cross that right ankle across the left thigh, flexing that right foot deeply. We start by sitting up nice and tall and exhaling, we can lean forwards, lengthening out through the spine. If you're seated on the floor, an option for you, and I hope that this will be visible from my office here, is to start by extending your legs out long in front of you, crossing your right ankle over your left thigh, and then drawing your left foot in towards you, bending that left knee to pull your knees in towards you as you use your hands to support you to sit up nice and tall. So this gets you into exactly the same shape as you would be seated in a chair. Wherever you are, take a couple more breaths in this shape. Stretching out a little more of the hip area that we were also stretching in our tree pose. We'll take one more inhale and exhale, we'll release. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side, crossing now the left ankle over the right thigh or the right knee, flexing that left foot. We start by sitting up tall and then hinging forwards from the hips so we're not rounding through the spine too much. And of course, if you're seated on the floor, you can start with your leg extended and then start to pull your right knee in towards your chest a little bit. This is a great stretch for the hips and also the lower back. These areas can get quite tight when we sit at our desks. We'll take one more inhale and exhaling. We'll come on up and unravel. Come to a nice comfortable seat. And I invite you to take a moment as you settle into this posture to either close your eyes or gently soften your gaze, observing how your body is feeling, maybe moving through that nice quick scan all the way from the feet and the legs, up through the hips and the spine, the shoulders, the arms, the neck, the jaw, and the face, observing how the body is feeling. And then bringing the attention to the breath, noticing if it's fast, slow, deep, or shallow, and noticing where you feel it the most. Observing without judgment, how you feel as a whole, your body, your breath, and even your state of mind right now compared to the very beginning of our practice.
with a deep breath in, I invite you to bring your hands to center and exhale, perhaps bow our heads forward in gratitude for this time that we've taken to come together and mindfully move, taking time out for ourselves today. We'll blink our eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you next time.